Hello everyone, welcome to another Underrated Film Saturday and today I'm going to be briefly looking into a film that I think holds at least a certain amount of significance as far as uh, really sort of marking the transition that we see within animation, in particular with animated films. Um, and unfortunately I think this one technically got overlooked for that reason and I'm going to be kind of diving into that and sort of discussing my thoughts on the Winnie the Pooh film. Now, in case you're not familiar with, there was actually a Winnie the Pooh film that came out in 2011, so relatively recently. And it really was the final film, at least from Disney, that decided to do it within 2D animation. Um, and... I think this one got fairly overlooked. Um, obviously, I think it was praised by uh, critics, but um, it wasn't really as well recognized as some other Disney films that would eventually come out later. And I think were ones that um, I get appealed more to the modern generation of kids. Hence the transfer from 2D to 3D. Um, and again, this is really a big turning point because it really establishes where the genre is really going. And uh, this film was really the last attempt at trying to revive 2D and make 2D somewhat prominent. Um, so uh, what's really, I think, actually great about this particular film is, is again, it transfers the nostalgia over fairly well. Um, all of the characters are back that you've either been familiar with or uh, have come to know if you've watched anything that has to do with Winnie the Pooh. Uh, and overall, the story, uh, despite its simplicity, I think still holds as a, as a very uh, nice return to form. Uh, but basically, the plot revolves around Pooh. Uh, and friends trying to find a replacement tail for Eeyore since he lost his tail. And then you'll see how there is a supposed character called the Baxton uh, that comes into play within the plot as well. Um, since uh, it's uh, been noted that uh, supposedly Christopher Robin was captured by this Baxton. And once you figure out what the Baxton actually is, uh, you, you kind of uh, realize that there is actually a lot of similarities as far as plotting is concerned um, when it comes to these kinds of Winnie the Pooh things. Because there have been various um, kinds of uh, shorter films, in particular like this one, that have touched upon sort of these similar scenarios. Um, and uh, you sort of see that coming to fruition here. Um, and although that I think is a kind of a little bit of a, of a setback because um, I would think that, that at least that they would try to, I guess, expand upon into new territory, but at the same time, you know, reflect onto the whole uh, concept of Winnie the Pooh. Um, but again, despite its again, rather simplistic approach. It works for a children's film and I think overall presents itself fairly well. And again, the animation, although it is in 2D, it is fairly updated from previous uh, Winnie the Pooh uh, installments that have sort of came and went over the years. And uh, I think it sort of stays true to the to form by um, again, sort of breaking technically the fourth wall, so to speak, and, you know, making little bits of comedy here and there that sort of uh, are reminiscent to what you come to expect from Winnie the Pooh. And again, I think by and large, when you look at this particular film, uh, you will see that uh, at least a lot of what is resemblance to uh, what Winnie the Pooh was is really transferred over. So on the one hand, it does well in uh, 
providing that kind of nostalgic transitioning. At the same time, it's still very reminiscent and true to the Winnie the Pooh form. So I don't know if that was probably another reason why people were sort of turned off by the idea because there have been so many different uh, um, very, and various renditions of really Winnie the Pooh and, um, you know, from TV to film and whatnot. And I could understand that that would probably be also a discouraging factor because people would like to see something new and something fresh and, um, you know, again, it's sort of a, I think a good way at this film in particular, I would say is a good way of introducing those who are maybe not familiar with Winnie the Pooh, but at the same time, I can kind of understand why people weren't really all that interested in seeing another Winnie the Pooh film. Uh, and I can kind of understand that on top of not being updated into the format that a lot of kids really genuinely like now, which is 3D, um, that that's also something that's unfortunately, I think, what discouraged a lot of people. But despite that, I still think it's uh, definitely a worthy uh, uh, adaptation because uh, it really does provide you what you would come to expect from a film that uh, is, again, Winnie the Pooh. Uh, and uh, again, although I think that it does have some things to it that, again, aren't as um, updated or as new, uh, I think it really still holds up as trying to be a uh, as another part of sort of the, I guess you could say, Winnie Pooh kind of collection. Because again, there have been various upon various um, film as well, films as well as uh, television that has reflected onto the Winnie the Pooh phenomena, which has been around for quite some time. But I think that's really ultimately all I can really say about this film without really giving too much away. Um, again, I think one of the major reasons, and I will say this again, is that the obviously the animation, although it is really well done, and I definitely couldn't really see Winnie the Pooh in 3D, that just looked too bizarre to me. Um, I can understand why this was the final kind of nail in the coffin when it came to 2D because um, I think a lot of people wanted something new unfortunately and um, Winnie the Pooh since it has been around for so and so so many years I can understand the kind of level of disinterest um, that uh, people might have for a film like this but again despite um, Winnie the Pooh being around for so, so many years, I think it's still definitely uh, worthy of recommendation, especially if you're interested in Winnie the Pooh and if you've grown up with Winnie the Pooh and you like the whole scenario of Winnie the Pooh. I mean, this one nails pretty much everything that you would come to expect from Winnie the Pooh. Um, but again, I think it, I think it's uh, unfortunately overlooked, but at the same time, I can sort of understand why it was, but uh, I think that's really ultimately all I can say though about this particular film. However, if there are any questions, comments, concerns, I'd be more than happy to answer them. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all have a pleasant day, week, month, and year, and I hope to see you all in the next videos, or the next videos, but I won't be able to upload all of the other videos until next Wednesday because I will be gone throughout this coming week so I won't be able to continue making videos until Wednesday but uh, hopefully uh, that can all be sorted out and arranged by then and I hope that's really my goal is to have them all uh, updated by Wednesday but um, I can only do Saturday's video today but again thank you so much for watching and goodbye